If it's Johnny I Spy, guys, <laughs> how you doing? I've been away. I've been on the repair. I've been on a bit a little bit. On, I've been a bit under the weather. Yeah, I've been pushing it hard, but um, I'm feeling more like myself every day here. It's been a crossroads time, and someone has died. And I'm this guy that has been destined to observe these great men who have inspired my life, my athleticism, but also my health. And this man has died at a relatively young age for being someone who is a pro, -advo pro advocate for uh, athleticism, right? <laughs> Yeah, good old Carl Weathers, he has weathered many storms, and he's moved on. And what I have here before you is I have his uh, hypothetical, hypothetical? <laughs> no, it's not hypothetical. <laughs> but I have his, um, what we do when we don't, when a star hasn't come forward and released the time that he was born, we, uh, we basically draw a chart for noon. And that chart for noon, um, if he was born at noon, at January 14th, 1948, if, he, if, if this would have happened in New Orleans, he would have been born as a Taurus ascendant. If he was born at noon, it would have been Taurus ascendant at two degrees, right? Then I went a little bit further with this. I, could, I said, you know, what if... What if he wasn't born this? And I was looking at the two charts. I was comparing his chart... To Stallone's chart, right? Stallone is a cancer at 14 degrees 15 minutes, which leads me to it leads me to this chart right here that I drew drew up because if we're looking at the solar year and if we're looking at that sector that that kind of like mixing of the water and the, the earth, if Carl was an ascendant. At tour, uh, ascendant Taurus at 14 degrees, that would have given him a, a Mercury, a Mercury rulership on his first house. That financial rulership, right? Look at his look at his node. It's 21 degrees Taurus. Okay, and there's no there's no there's no release time of birth for Carl, right? But stars like to leave breadcrumbs. Especially if you're a very visually stimulated individual like myself, because we say to himself, because we, we look at his chart, right? If if he was a Taurus ascendant, which would have given him, if he was at two degrees Taurus, I mean, this ascendant would actually be square of my natal sun at two degrees thirty four minutes. It would be like a perfect square, only like six minutes out. But if he say he was born just a little later at 1236, it would have given us a Taurus Virgo because this next Earth sign after Taurus would be Virgo. And that would give him a co-rulership on that Taurus house of Mercury, right? And why would I say this? Why would I go with this chart? First off, because Stallone is a Cancer at 14 degrees. It would roll right up to his chart so easily, right? It would fix right in there, okay? You see how, when you look at the chart here, you see his 14 degrees? When you look at, when you zoom up here, you see he's, Stallone's 14 degrees cancer for the, for his birthday, right? <laughs> July 6, 1946, <laughs> two days after, two days after the July 4th birthday of the U.S., okay? No wonder the U.S. loves Stallone so much, okay? And the other thing about Stallone is Stallone's son is conjunct my Mercury perfectly, right? But to go even further, if he was, if Carl was a 14 degree Taurus ascendant, if he was at 14 degree, if he was born with the ascendant being at the apex of Taurus, that would give him a, a Mercury cold rulership. And why do I want to bring that out? Because when he passes on, when he passes on here, look where his Mercury is in his chart. His Mercury, okay, his Mercury, when you look at, this is when Carl passes on. Look where Pluto is. Pluto's at zero degrees Aquarius. 
And look where Carl Weathers is. Look where look for Carl Weathers Mercury. Okay, if he's born, we're gonna go look for Mercury. Mercury is at zero degrees thirty five minutes. And look where Pluto is. Zero degrees twenty three minutes for when he passes on. The other big thing about this is, let's look at this. Look where his, look where his Pluto is in his chart. His Pluto's at fourteen degrees Leo. Okay, there would be friction in that house, right? He would have friction in that house, you know, of the fourth house. But he would have that friction on that. His Pluto would be squared his ascendant. Okay. Now look at this. Look at this. This is the big one right here for you. The sun, when he passed on, would be almost perfectly opposed his natal Pluto. Right? Look at that. Perfectly. Now, how do we know this? How do we know? Well, what do you think? Do you think Carl was really a Taurus ascendant? Well, let's go to Rocky Four. Okay? Let's go to Rocky Four, where he dies. Okay? Rock, he dies. I have here... If the film was released at 7.45 p.m., or if it was just a little bit earlier, but if the film was starting to roll, you know, at some, you know, at that point, right? Look at, we're look at, at 7.45 p.m., November 21st. And it's very interesting how these films were released. And the reason why I say this is because the original Rocky movie was released uh, November 21st. And I said 7.30 p.m., right? Look at this. 7.30 p.m., 1976, the original Rocky movie, which I'm a big fan of. I cannot count how many times I've seen Rocky. I've seen all the films numerous times. I am a great fan of Stallone, right? And so I should be, right? Because his Stallone is, Stallone's son is conjunct my Mercury, right? I looked, I, I grew up with a fatherless I grew up with a fatherless childhood, right? So I looked, I looked, I was looking at Stallone. I was looking at Carl as, you know, examples to follow. And believe me, since a, a big shift has happened in my heart, since a big shift has happened in my heart since he's passed on, I am really, every single day, I am, ever since that day, you know, and ever since looking at these charts, my my heart and my mind and my spirit is becoming more health and sports um you know align i'm really thinking about you know longevity because he died at a young time right he's young but you can see the planets are showing us how important this pluto guy is right now look at this guys look at this, this is, you're gonna love this uh this podcast here because when we look at Rocky Four, you know, look at this. Is it kind of uncanny that it's 7:45? I mean, look at this. <laughs> it's perfect. Uh, when you're looking at the original Rocky release, and, and for some reason they have picked the same day of the year to release both films. And that Cancer Ascendant would be conjunct Stallone's. <laughs> that Cancer Ascendant for these times would be conjunct. Stallone's son, okay? It's a true thing. Uh, but this is what you're really going to love about this, guys. Uh, how this works for him. Um, and I also have Predator as well. Look at this one. Look at this one for Predator. If it was released, you know, if it was released Los Angeles, here we go. June 12th. Here we have, we have Sagittarius on the Senate. And look at Kant, look at Saturn. Saturn being one of the rulers of time, that timekeeper. And look at Carl Weathers. <laughs> look how important this is to him. He's got a Jupiter at 18 degrees. Jupiter's, Jupiter's in that Scorpio house with a Sagittarius rulership. But look at this, guys. Jupiter's at 18 degrees. Look at this. Perfect for this release time. That ascendant would marry right up to Carl Weathers. Don't you think? Now, also we have to look at here is... Look at the moon is nine degrees. Holy cow! Moon is nine degrees Capricorn. Mm -hmm. So where, where can we find that? The moon in Capricorn would be trying his natal Mars at seven degrees Virgo, right? It's it's quite amazing here. But look at the look at the uh, incarnation here, right? Uh, 
you know, the Saturn here, here's, uh, can, here is Saturn, there's the incarnation as well. Um, the incarnation is 21 degrees. Holy cow, right? Look at this. Is this amazing or what? And if we look at 21 degrees, Taurus, right? Look at the sun. There's that semi-sextile thing happening. The sun is actually at 21 degrees Gemini, which is a perfect semi-sextile to Carl's um, incarnation. It's an ode, right? 21 degrees. <laughs> Not too far away. And look at Kieran too. In Kieran, he got he gets his arm, he gets his arm cut off by the predator, right? At 22 degrees, Kieran, right? Look at that, 22 degrees. <laughs> look at his incarnation. Yep, it's quite amazing, right? It's quite amazing. And then when we see Carl Weathers, 20 to 23 degrees Capricorn, look at all this Capricorn activity happening here right behind. It's this whole entire 12th house kind of situation for him, that karma situation. But when you look at the Capricorn in his life, because we say, how do we know, right? How do we know if Carl was really a Taurus ascendant? Well, let's pull this down here. and Let's take a look at the screenshot that I have here. This is this big scene. This is the big fight scene. This is the opening of the big fight scene. And we cannot help to see this eye to eye. I'm Johnny I Spy. I'm quite the guy. I'm a Gemini Senate at two degrees, one degree, 55 minutes. And look at what's behind Carl. It's a bull, right? Stallone is the Italian stallion, right? But look at this. Look at this. He's got a bull, right? It's his personality. If you look at all the films, if you look at all the films Carl's been in, he really fits in his films and his character traits in these films. He's stubborn, right? Don't throw the towel, Rocky. <laughs> Don't call this fight off. <laughs> I am going to do this, right? I'm not going to, you know, he's, he's a warrior, right? <laughs> stubborn as a bull, right? <laughs> and look at this. Taurus <laughs> on the Ascendant. But as I said, if his if his ascent, if he was born at 12 degrees, or if he was born at 12 degrees, 12 o'clock, 36 minutes um, on January 14th, which makes him a Capricorn, right? Look at this Capricorn house, right? Look at look, look what's going on here, because he's 23 degrees Capricorn. You know, this is the, what? <laughs> this is this is the Capricorn Taurus to Kent. It's over the trade over. This is the Capricorn Taurus to Kent. And look at the Juno there. Look at that, really close. And then here's his Mercury. That would be, because that Ascendant would have the Mercury cold rulership. And there's that Mercury and Pluto, Pluto in Hades, you know, <laughs> you know, Pluto, when he passed on, which is this chart, look where Pluto is. And look where the sun is. Look where the sun is for when he passes on. Look where, he, look where the sun is when he passes on. It's almost 13 degrees. It's almost perfectly opposed his natal Pluto. You know, the sun is almost perfectly opposed his natal Pluto. It's pretty amazing, eh? It's pretty amazing when you're looking at these charts here. Now, when you see how they two, when they see how the two fit together here, like brothers, right? Um, it's so funny because you know Carl's younger than him, but he's acting like Stallone's mentor in the movie. So it's a little trade-over period there. But he would be the older. It's a, it's a whole entire beautiful Cancer. It's a whole entire beautiful Cancer Capricorn coupling, right? And what's in Stallone? When we look at 23 degrees, I mean, look at Saturn. His Saturn, Stallone's Saturn, is 26. That magic number 26 comes up again. Look at this. Saturn's at 20. Saturn, at 26 degrees Cancer, the U.S. being a Cancer, Russia being a, um, a, um, Russia being a Saturn-ruled country. And look at this. He, he trains in Russia, but it's actually shot in Canada, right? So here we go. Here's this Saturn at 26 degrees, right? And it would be his Saturn and Cancer would be opposed. His Saturn and Cancer would be opposed to Carl's son. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the Juno there. <laughs> you know, there's that opposition thing happening there. You know, you need an opposition to grow with. The other thing that's really beautiful about this chart is when you look at Carl's uh, release here, you know, look at Char Carl's release. Once again, let me point this out. For Rocky IV, no, the Predator here. Predator here. Look at this. Saturn, for the release of, Sat uh, for re for the release of Predator, 
Saturn would be actually conjunct. Saturn would be conjunct his natal Jupiter. And Jupiter is that whole entire publishing planet. But it's that sportsman planet as well. Sagittarius with a Scorpio overlap because it's that eighth house of his chart. But if you go back to that suggested chart that I have, you'd still be there in the eighth house, right? Then you have a moon in Cancer. I mean, you have a moon in Cancer. This would all meld well with Rocky because you have that water and water trine happening with Stallone's chart. Pretty fascinating, eh? Look at the uh, Mars. In, the other thing is to look at Carl Weathers' Mars at 7 degrees Virgo. Mar Mars at 7 degrees Virgo. How would that line up with his chart, right? When you look at that 7 degree mark, you know, he's got a Pluto. His Mars would be semi sex His Mars would be semi-sextile. Um, oh, wait a minute. Look, check this out here. Look at this. Hey, look how close they are. Their Mars is in the same location, right? Well, two years later, Ma Carl has a Mercury, Carl has a Mars retrograde. Go back to here. Carl has a Mars retrograde at seven degrees, and that would conjoin with, that would conjoin with, sorry, let me do this one. Let me zoom this down here. Well, I'm hitting the wrong button here, guys. Sorry. So when we move this down here and we look at Mars, his Mars would be coming up behind, but it's in retrograde, right? It would be there conjoined. That's why they're brothers like, because they both have that same Mars thing. And as we know, Mars is kind of nasty. He's like a fighter. Mars is like a fighter in Virgo. And Mars is a fighter anymore, but he's, you know, <laughs> and we can see that you can see how the twins are. If we remember Rocky IV, Carl's much louder. You know, he's much more assertive because he's got the he's an older moon, right? He's got that Saturn moon. He's got that he's got that Saturn sun. And remember that twenty three degrees Capricorn would be what? Capricorn, Capricorn with the first decant. Second decant would be Capricorn Taurus, and the third decant would be Capricorn Virgo. Right? Twenty three degrees Capricorn. You know, when we look in through these marts, I mean, his his sign would be in conjunct so Sylvester's Venus, right? So there's there's that working relationship. This his sign would be in conjunct, and and it's it's actually amazing how they all line up like this, right? Quite amazing charts, guys. Quite amazing here. So where are we at here? Let's look at the credit. Uh, uh, Carl passes on here. Four degrees. Uh, we don't know exactly, but you know it's it's happening on the first, right? You know, is, is he just passed on? Um, I mean, what time was he sleeping? You know, they said he passed on in his sleep. Look what the note is. I mean, look at the note. It's seventeen degrees Libra. Where is seventeen degrees Libra in Carl's chart? I mean, when we're looking at Carl's chart, I mean, it's near his Neptune. The note is near to his Neptune. Then we, but, but if we want to keep on looking for that 17 degree mark, you want to look at that 17 degree mark, look at this Jupiter, all right? The node would be sextile. The node would be sextile his Jupiter, you know, within a, within less than a minute, I mean, less than a degree out, right? It's like nine minutes out or something like this, eight, ten minutes. It's Jupiter's 18 degrees, one minute Sagittarius. Look where the node is, 17 degrees, 51 minutes Libra. Isn't that amazing? His palace Athena would be opposed my, my Venus, right? Holy cow, when you look them all line up here, look at the 21 degree mark. Uh, and w once again, all these charts line right up. But to really see this, because when we see when he passes on here, the sun is absolutely opposed to his natal Pluto. Right, we're really, really sorting out this Pluto guy, showing showing how important he is, even though he's a small, small planet. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's a true thing. But uh, look, guys, I wanted to share these charts with you. Here's Sylvester Stallone. This is Rocky. Look, look when the release isn't it kind of canny because they both release 
Rocky IV. Look at this. I, I drew it. I drew. I, I drew up the chart here. Um, because we know what's going to happen, right? It's. I mean, it's. When's that show? Is it going to be a seven thirty show? It's going to be. When's that show going to get rolling here? Because on both shows, we have. On both shows, the sun is only a couple minutes out. The sun is in that trade over period from Scorpio to Sagittarius, right? Which is important. You gotta wonder if these guys had astrologers, right? <laughs> to figure out when it was the best to release these, because they both did well, right? I look at Mercury. <laughs> Mercury's in Jupiter's house. I mean, Jupiter's sign. You know, look at there's a Sagittarius ascendant there. It's it's absolutely quite amazing. But I thought I'd bring these charts to the fore. I really believe me, guys. Um, I am really. I mean, even though. I'm dealing with such a, I mean, because I, I really looked up, I've, I've seen all Carl's movies. I've seen all Carl's movies. I remember him as Lando Carissian. He, he, he comes, he comes across as a Taurus ascendant. Look how, I mean, look how, um, look how he was toward Leah in, in the, in the movie, The Empire Strikes Back, right? You can see that. You know, because he was very, you know, you see how he is. Very lavish. Very much like a Taurus Ascendant, right? But uh, here are the charts, guys. Here we go. Once again. Um, all the all the plants line right up. And, I mean, for release, right? I mean, if you look at, if you look at what's going on in these charts, you will see how they all line up, right? But I, I, I found it quite, I found it quite, um, because you, you look at it, they, he dies in both, he die he, this is when he physically dies, and then he dies in the movie, right? And here we have the Mars in the fourth house, when we return to the earth, right? We know how that astrological text works about the importance of that fourth house. And you can see how... There's a square. You see how his Mars is actually squared the ascendant, you know. And remember, if he was a Taurus, if he was a Taurus rising, that Libra house would be in conjunct his ascendant, right? There's work there for that Rocky Four, right? Look where Pluto is. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you look at Carl's, you look where Carl's. Uh, you look at Carl's chart here, and you see where Pluto is at five degrees Scorpio. That Pluto is absolutely conjunct my natal Merc or my natal Mars, eh? And the, and the, and Carl's Mars is absolutely conjunct my natal Venus, right? There's all these trigger points that draw me to these people, like it does, like I mean, like they do. Look, guys, I wanted to share this to you. I didn't want this to be too long. He's a great man, and he's changed my life. This He's passed on way too early, right? And when we look at him, you know, when we look at this Taurus Ascendant, and you look at this, at this, this staging, and it's this whole tur eye to eye thing, eh? Holy cow. I'm Johnny Eyes by. I'm quite the guy. I will get you high just by telling you why. These are Carl's charts that I have for you. And... Stallone and how they fit together with Stallone, right? As I said before, his, I mean, as I said, you look at his Saturn, you look at his Saturn at 26 degrees, and you know that Carl's son is feeding, Carl's son is feeding Stallone's Saturn. It's that structure, eh? Because Capricorn is ruled by Saturn, right? And here we are, the sign in. Capricorn in the th third decant, right? So we have Capricorn, and then we have Capricorn Taurus and Capricorn Virgo. And, um, and then we want to look at that Virgo house. We want to look at that Virgo house. Look at Stallone's Virgo, right? That Mars, once again. And it's really it's really uncanny. They both have the same. Two years later, born two, Carl's born two years after Rocky, and they both have that. They both have that. Mars and Virgo thing, eh? And as I said, we know 
We know how nasty Mars is in Virgo. But look, guys, um, I just want to bring this to the floor. As I said, I was telling my roommate the other day, it's like, these stars, they pass on. Like, this guy's passed on, and I really, truly believe that our stars, um, with because they got the finances, and they they have these jet-set lifestyles, um, and I think I think this jet set lifestyle thing is actually killing these people because flying up at thirty five thousand feet, there's so much stress on the human body. I think that that's there's that strain on them. Because my grandma Anita, my grandma Anita, she's a she's like a hundred. She's gonna be a hundred and two coming up real soon, right? She's gonna be a hundred two, and I, 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 I long to live forty years longer than. Carl. I, I long to live at least 40 years longer than Carl, right? My grandma Anita is 101, and I'm telling you, I'm trying to live the healthiest life. I, I Even though this thing hit me like a ton of bricks, like I hit Sloan, because I absolutely looked up to both these guys. So that's why I'm doing this. I, I mean, I'm so happy Stallone's still here. As I said, Stallone's son conjuncts my Mercury, all right? And here we have that Pluto. We have that transit Pluto at zero degrees Aquarius, and it's unexpected, right? It's unexpected loss. And that Pluto is conjoined his Mercury, right? And that's my ruling planet. Mercury's my ruling planet being one of my ruling planets. I, I'm a Leo. And if we want to look at Leo, his Pluto is conjunct. His Pluto is two degrees away. His Pluto is right there on my series, but his Pluto is not too far away from my Jupiter as well. So here we have it, guys. You have the charts. Um, I really think uh, they had something planned here. But look, I'll let you go. And all the best to you. And I appreciate your time. And I hope you got something on this podcast. And all things are one, right? And believe me, this guy, his death, his um, unexpected timely death, is... It's changed my life, guys. I'm, I mean, I, de I have beers in the freezer. I mean, I have, even had, I have beers in the fridge. I haven't even had a beer. I've been so clean. I have been so clean in my slate. I'm, I'm, I'm on this detox thing. I'm doing these push-ups. And it's all about living healthier and longer than Carl. As he's an example to me, just like Rocky is. All the best to you. And live long and prosper. And be one with the Father. Be one with the solar system. Know your cycles.